deep along your travels as you rest at a tavern. A courier walks up to you, drawing your attention. He hands you a blood-red envelope, the small crystal acting as a seal on the back. He bows to you as you go to look at who the letter is from. He vanishes from sight as if he was never there to begin. As you hold the envelope, something compels you to open the crimson parcel. It reads as such. I hope this letter has reached you as easily as it was to locate you. I ask that you please come to my city. Something is going on. All of the people seem to have vanished. I seem to be the only one left. I have heard that you are good at what you do. Included is a spell scroll that will bring you to the area near my home. I hope you will accept. Signed, Z. Upon reading this, the crystal on the back glows faintly as the scroll can be seen. Even those without magic can figure the crystal on the back of the letter will activate the spell. You touch the crystal as you seem to be pulled away from where you were. Waking up in a desolated, seemingly empty land, surrounded only by others holding the same letter as you. Upon waking up, you look around at the others around you. That is up to you guys now. Oh, girl, um, I one of these things again. So, yeah. wait, wait, who are you guys? Who are you guys? Oh. oh. I guess this is the I'm... place. I'm the courier, I'm the hire. So... It's like, I just look... look I just look, look towards the letter that I'm just looking out. Okay, okay. the next thing I've run out is... Hmm. Hmm. Apparently, apparently this letter is something of something of it's going to point to some people of some review, so what's your story? Well, I was just on my way to start my adventure when I got this letter. What about you all? I was just sitting in a tavern polishing my bowl. Just on my travel. I think that's not funny. I think that's not, I guess that's not understood something in us. Hmm. Hmm. So, what's your guys' name? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm Mitzi. Much of the media. Pleasure is mine. I'm Catherine. And you, Mr. Skullmask? You got a problem with my, my mask? Well, I, don't, I can't see your face. As long as you told us your name, so what else do I call you? I just call you Sick Free. Alright then. Mm -hmm. The name of stuff with. All right. Um. So, does anyone else know how the hell we got here, or what the hell well, we are? As far as I can tell, this is like, like as far as I can tell, it's like teleportation magic with a crystal. But I'm not too sure. Hold on, let me read the letter. Does everyone know? Is anyone aware of who Z is? Nope. Mm, no. No. And besides, besides. Judging by the way the sky the is, sky. looks like we're not in our same realm. Thank you. I was waiting for someone to point it out. As Siegfried mentions the sky. The rest of you seem to look up and notice that the sky is not blue, but a deep crimson, just like the letter. I'm getting an old, getting a bad feeling about this. 
That's everyone, good. everyone, roll me a perception check. Okay. Yep. Let's see perception. Oh, that's fine. Wow. <laughs> I swear I am not- I swear I am not this bad. <laughs> the only one that is- Hunter! Is Hunter. You are a ranger, correct? Yes. Yeah. Your keen instincts pick up on a noise. Sounds of something being dragged. Very clumsily, I might add. Uh... Okay, um... Coming from over the hill to the north of you. Okay, guys, we have a problem coming from the north. It doesn't sound like it's coming towards you. It sounds like it's trying to get away. Hmm. I say we go north to find out what's the problem, where we are. I agree. Same. I don't care what's the Alright, so you all agree to go north? Yep. 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 Well, as you top over the hill, you see a young looking elven female struggling to drag a freshly killed elf. Hmm. Hey, you. Hey, you, freeze. What's your deal? What's your deal here? I live here. Oh. oh. Uh, same with the same be said for that body of dragon. This elk? Yes. Would you like some help oh. carrying it to your home? Oh, I thought, oh god, I misheard. I heard elf instead of elk. Elf. <laughs> no, the elf is carrying the elk. The elf, okay, the elf is struggling to drag an elk. <laughs> I can see yep, why he got okay. confused. Yeah. Sit, sit uh, close enough on the elf to sound like a K, and vice versa. Elf. Elf. I just like, you need to, you need to help with that. Also, where, also, like, where are we? You? You're near the town of Blackroot. Blackroot? If you're willing to help me drag this back, um, you're free to stay. All right. Mm, I appreciate some. Yeah, I appreciate some hospitality. Uh, at least appreciate some hospitality around here. I'll carry uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I can help you carry it. Yeah, I'm helping too. All right. Roll a strength test. What is your, what is your total strength score? Oh, uh, let's see. 20. <laughs> 15. 11. Yeah, no, mystery is enough to drag the carcass back on her own over her shoulders. <laughs> of course. Of course. So, well, considering the backstory I just put on my character, yeah. <laughs> so, you follow this elven female back to the town. You see the town is surrounded by high walls. But they don't look stonemason. They look like you would see for a military outpost in the middle of a swamp. Oh. Wow. She pushes open the gate, motions for you all to hurry inside. I run as fast as I can with this elk on my <laughs> on my shoulder. And I just okay, okay. As I walk in, I'd like to ask her, plus ask our elf friend. Hey, would your name happen to like start with a Z or something? No, my name is Lin Falne. Ah, well, happens to anyone who start whose name starts with Z, Lin Falne. Well, there are a couple who live in the castle. 
Ooh. The castle, as in, are they are they the king and queen around here? Well, one is the queen, the other is one of her servants. I see. All right. But, but, enough ask, enough talk out in the open. We must hurry back to the inn. All right. Right. There's no time to go now. This big building here is the inn. Wow, this is a lovely inn you have. Thank you. It's the only building left that's still technically functioning in the town. Functioning? Let me what? guess. Let me guess. Missing people? Yes, everyone else is up and vanished. Ah. Uh, well, well, thing is, okay, thing is, we've all come, thing is, we've kind of all come here by teleportation from this letter, and it mentioned that you might, that this town might need some help. So, I guess we're here to help. I guess you are. Um, where do you want me to set this elk? So that that way... Oh, just put it in the back room for now. I'll butcher it up in a bit. Uh, thank you. I go and I put the elk, like, right on her kitchen counter. And I look back. Well, there we go. I'll have to wash my clothes here a little bit later. But that will do. Thank you. You're very um, welcome. You're free to stay for helping me out. <laughs> yeah, we would. Yeah, we'd. I'd, I'd, I'd certainly like a bed to sleep after, well, being marooned out, being marooned out there. <laughs> But I, I do ask something in return. Of course. Mm -hmm. Ask anything. Just help out here and there with the farming and the hunting so that um, we don't starve. No, oh, that's oh, easy enough. So, is that Anything I can get you all while you're sitting here? No, I suppose a no, I suppose a drink. I suppose a drink or something. Um, I have wine and ale. That's about it left. Mm, I'll take. Eh, I'll take a flag and a bale then. Um, how's the water here? Hmm. There's none left here in the town. Oh. Oh shit. I'll take With, a... Without our workers, most everything's dried up. Well, shit. It's like, nah, okay, let's, I say this, okay, say, I say, okay, so, I think you got a plan. Let's, we rest, I say we rest a little, rest up a little bit over, rest a little up a little bit here, and I guess come up to the castle. Come to the castle. Save it. Well, they might even... have some, they... Well... Will we even have permission, though, is the problem. I don't know. None of us even know what's going on with the castle. Has there been anything strange about the castle? Well, the castle's been here for ages. Long before the city ever existed. There's a rumor that the queen has been alive for... As long as this world has existed. Hmm. And the castle is supposedly cursed. And cursed? That cursed means a portal to a different world. But this has only been rumors from the age of the his age in history of the city. Hmm. Is something wrong, sir? Is there a library? In the town? Yeah. There's a bookstore, but... I don't know if you'll find anything useful there. I'll try. Um, well, then you'll want this. She reaches behind, under the counter and pulls out a massive key ring. Flipping through. Seems to be looking. 
pulls off a key and hands it to you. Thank you. It's just across the plaza. Thank you. It's the small building right there. I would like to know if there's a temple nearby. Uh, there are none here. I understand. Well, could you show me where your washroom is and so I can wash my cloak? Oh. Sure. She takes you down a hallway. Yep, now. What was your question? Are there any weapon shops around here? Oh, there's all kinds of shops. So feel free to take what you want. There's no one here anymore. Cool. But, um... You'd have to break into them. Just point me in the direction of the shop and I'll be fine. Well, what are you looking for? Arrows. If you need arrows, you can just ask me. You sell arrows? I have to make my own, don't I? True. She just points you to a chest over in the corner. Mm. Cool. Mm. While I'm waiting for, like, the robe to dry, I go up and I go, Well, can I, uh, can I ask for the name of the queen in there? And is there a king? There is no king. Mm. But there is a queen. Her name is Queen Senes. Queen Senes. Does Senus have any ears? No. Well then, does she have any gods that we need to be aware of? She has castle staff, but... All we know is there's a lot of strange things that work there, and... Uh... One is a dragonborn. The ones she seems to keep around her the most are a dragonborn, an Arcoa, and we think a, a shapeshifter. We're not sure. Hmm. So I must ask then if we're to be to pet prepared for anything do would they know of anyone coming up to the castle or no the castle's gone completely silent that was the first thing to go silent then everyone here started vanishing so have you ever thought there was a connection between the castle and the people leaving? Or disappearing? Disappearing, yes. No one's left. They've all just vanished. So how is it that you're the only one left if everyone else has disappeared? Because the last person that left was taken a couple days ago. So you don't know when you disappear either? Nope. One last, one last thing, though. How do you get into the castle? You just walk up to it. Now, where is that I mean, located? Dennis has always yeah. left the castle open to any of us. Where is that located from your inn? From here? Yes. yes. We came into the town from the south. Down this way. Okay. Okay. Well, there's the in the. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! 
Okay. Next up. You came in from the south. The way to the castle is this way. Okay. So you just head north? Mm, northwest. Or north east, but yes. <coughs> Good time. Thank you. I'll surely note that. If I may ask, I noticed that there are three exits out of this town. You say we, you say we came from the south, and that there's a passage to the northeast. But what's to the west? To the west is just the forest. Just any old forest? Yes. I'm still completely stumped on what I was <laughs> Well, could you show us to where the rooms are? So we can pick our rooms for the night? They're just upstairs. Very well. The I'll... entire second and third floor. Alright, I'll take one of the second floor rooms then, and I'll go see, and I'll go get myself situated. So I go up and start situating myself in the room. Before I go up, um, is there a way to see the castle from here? Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss. Well, that's enough. I go up to the third floor. Hint, hint, don't look in our hint, hint. It was the first thing I posted in art. In. <laughs> All right, so you two have gone up to settle yourselves in rooms. Enfield, what are you doing? Um. <clears throat> well, Siegfried's still going to the bookstore to look around. All right, you get to the bookstore and open it with the key she gave you. Like, what can I see? I see. Basically, Basically, when I open the door. On the moment you open the door, a spell goes off. Oh boy. Oh boy. And lights all these lanterns in the building. Wow, that's something new. Everything is covered in cobwebs. <sighs> Dusty. You can smell how old these books have been sitting here. Oh, I'm doing my church. Hmm, which book should I choose? Maybe see if I can find that. Let's see. Let's see if I can find the right. No, Tell me what you're looking for first. He's looking for a book on the town's lore. Roll me an investigation. Fifteen. Fifteen? Mm-hmm. You find a bunch of folklore books, but no actual history books. Hmm. I guess they will do. Let's see if I can please understand this culture. Sure. Or you could have done the smart thing and asked the only person still left in the town. True, but he was just more of just... Antisocial? Uh... 
people are prone to trusting you. Antisocial. Be suspicious. suspicious. <laughs> no, no. Antisocial. I'm going to roll an investigation to see if I can find something. Like, find like what? Medicine, medicine, books, or anything like that. Like that. Spells. Uh, not necessarily. You do find some spell books, but they're... They're the type of spells you would teach a child. I'm gonna try one more investigation, and... You will try looking for books on vampires. <laughs> Who said anything about a vampire? You're you you're metagaming on this one. Oh yeah, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Upon the thought of looking up for a book on a vampire, you start to get a headache. What the hell? Every time you metagame, there are going to be consequences. Every action in this game is going to have consequences. Okay, so. What else are you doing now? He's going to try to find, find the book of medicine. Roll for it. Sixteen. You find some, but it's mostly on herbals that, at this point in the town, would no longer be useful anyway. Uh, GM. What? Um, can I ins do an inspe inspection on the castle from my room? Is there anything strange? <laughs> It's a question, okay? I know, I know. Roll it. Roll an insight check. Alright. Nope. No. Damn. Damn. No. Honestly, Hunter, there was only one way you were going to pass that check. Roll a uh, nat 20? A nat 20. <laughs> From where you're sitting, it just looks like a huge, imposing fortress. Uh -huh. It looks big enough to be a town all on its own. Anyone else going to do anything? I'm going to investigate the town via my window. I'm going to roll a... Investigation. Yeah. No, you're still mesmerized by the blood red sky. Well, shoot. Might as well investigate my room, too. I already know what the GM's going to say. Eleven. You look around the room, you notice the beds. 
everything in that inn is really well taken care of. As if this lone woman is putting her all into making sure this building stays in one piece. You do notice a painting in the hall across from your room, though. What is this painting? Have I seen it before? No. But upon looking at the painting, you see a beautiful woman with raven black hair, arcane blue streaks running through it, with a bright red jewel in the middle of her chest, just above her cleavage. Hmm. Right. Emerald eyes. I'd like to do an investigation. Go for it. Eight. Nope. I cannot get good rolls tonight. You're just mesmerized by them bright emerald eyes. Anyone else? Hmm. I've exhausted Enfield. all my ideas. Enfield, what? <clears throat> no, it's trying to my throat. Sorry. No, I saw you starting to type. I, I didn't say that he's just coming just back from the bookstore and actually closed the door. All right, well, stepping back in the end, you hear the sound of heavy thwacking coming from the back room. Huh. Guess that woman's cutting up the elk. Oh. Um, he's going to take a moment to sit down a bit and take off his mask. Just for a bit. <laughs> Roll me a dexterity check. Everyone or just him? Just him. Alright. Fourteen. Okay. Well, you're just sitting down there alone, just listening to her th whack away at the elk in the back room. I go, I start to go down, but then I hear some mumbling, so I try to sneak uh, downstairs. Roll me a snow. And Anfield, roll a perception. Off by two Off points. By two. <laughs> yeah, Enfield, you don't notice it, but she's kind of snuck up on you at this point. Oh, Sigrid, you're back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. What the hell is going on out there? Sorry, I just snuck up on someone, that's all. He's trying to get his mask back on because he's trying to use it. He's kind of like... <laughs> Can you please turn away for a bit? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, and he gets his mask back on. The elf pokes her head out from behind, from the doorway. What the fuck is going on out here? Nothing. Sorry about that. You can see her face, hands, and Pretty much her entire outfit are soaked in blood right now. Would you uh, like some assistance? 
No, no, I've I've got this as usual. I never let Romelia help either. Who's Who? that? Huh? Romelia? Yes. She was the last one to go missing and um She was my better half. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. And sorry about well, that. I, I will get the elk cut up and um, start cooking it up for you all. All right. Thank you very much. Do you need anything? No, but thank you for asking. So, he shrugs and just goes into the back again. So, uh, second... you know, Enfield, you can speak up as saint as well, you know. Yeah, but he's kind of he's a little bit. Kind of... <laughs> he's kind of more trying to calm down. Sorry about that earlier, Sigfried, but I did hear someone come down, so I didn't know who it was. I just can't type from the bookstore. Oh. My bad. Okay. Meanwhile, but, I come down. Did you find anything useful? Uh, the basics. Oh, so nothing at all, then. But I did get a strange thing. Hmm. 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 I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it. I could have been from the spell that was... Uh, came back to when I opened the door. Hmm. Oh, right, I forgot to warn you about that. What do you mean? Old Selfa, when he made his store, put a spell on it so that when it was dark out, anyone that opened the door, well, the lights would come on. So oh. they could easily peruse the books. I see. Well, it seems like there's a little bit of a side effect to it. Really? None of us have ever had any trouble with that spell. I guess with me not being used as for, not all oh, not for around here. Are you sure you're all right? You don't need I'm anything. Fine. It, it, I think we should be sure if it's this. I guess this magic in this world is different than ours. I see. But earlier I did see your mask on the... Uh, on the table. Do you not like showing your face? He's a human! What do you expect? They're all vain! Well, most I've seen this pearled around in my own hometown never had a mask. It was my father's. I see. Well, would you like to come up and pick a spot for your room? Might as well. You can pick either the second floor or the third floor. I'll take the third floor. Hmm. Hello. Hello. So, who's doing what now? Hmm. Seafree's just gonna just crash because he's tired. He's just like. I'm gonna go upstairs and sleep. I'm going to go upstairs and study a bit for a couple of hours. Well, y'all are going to go to sleep while she's cooking you dinner. <laughs> no, I'm studying. No. Well, he's taking a, a little rest. Well, rest. Well, while you guys are resting, she's cooking dinner. And mystery. Hmm. As you're trying to study, roll me a perception check. Okay. Yep. 
Perception, 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 perception. Okay, making sure I had a monitor right. for that. Actually, hold that thought. Okay. Okay. Enfield! Roll me a perception check. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's 20. Nice. Plus exclamation point. Oh, <laughs> I meant the. I must have hit the shift button. Uh, you might want to retry that then. Oh, come on. Because <laughs> I, I think with when you're doing plus exclamation, it's an auto crit. Oh. So never mind then. So that's a. Uh... That was a more no, oops. Uh, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. one. <laughs> oh. oh boy. I'll go with the twenty. Oh, I'll give you the twenty on this one. Enfield, as you're laying there, you feel as if a pair of eyes are looking. You can't seem to move. You open your eyes and off in the corner of the room, all you see is a pair of glowing green eyes in a corner. They don't look malicious. They look begging. Uh, hello? hello? Can't even speak. All you see are the eyes, and they fade away. You can move again. What the fuck? fuck. Am I seeing things, or am I still in the dynamic? He's just gonna shake it off and be like, okay, so. You can smell food being cooked! <sighs> I guess a warm will be good. <laughs> hmm. I wake up with the smell of food. Mmm, something smells delicious. I'm still studying in the night here. And I keep smelling the food, and I'm just like, uh, I guess, I guess reciting this will be later. Might as well get some food in my system. So I start to head down. Alright. Mystery! Roll me a constitution check. Okay. Constitution, constitution. Just making sure I have, like, a... There you are. Eleven. As you walk by that painting, you feel sorrow, fear. What is this? I feel like I might cry. That's not normal. It only lasts for a couple seconds, but then it goes away. What was that? I might as well just head down. Alright. 
You head down. I sniff and I'm just like, mmm, that mm, smells really that good. Smells really good. Well, I do what I can with what I can grow out back here. Well, that is amazing. Well, that is amazing. She comes out with some elk steaks, and roasted potatoes to go with it. Here, do you want some help setting the table? No, just go ahead and sit. I've already set everything up for you all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Start to sit down, get ready to chow down. Then I want to... Hey, well, I'm... Sorry. Then I want to... Then I think, uh, should I yell at the others? And at that point, I'm already at the bottom of the stairs saying, Something is good! Oh, you're here. You might want to try and holler for the others to get food. Yeah, I already tried waking up the, the rogue-looking person. He wouldn't wake up for anything. Well, have you tried the other one? Uh, I, I don't know. Did I try that? Alyssa's character is just out. Yeah. That's they I mean. are out like a light. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I didn't try, didn't bother with the guy with the dragon skull mask. So. Well, I'll go up and see if he's awake. Hold your horses, I'm coming down. Oh, there you are. I sit down at the table with uh, I forget Mr. Girl's name, the character's name. Catherine. I sit down at the table with Catherine. He's just gonna shut down all the others. He's like, whatever, just, just get some food. Mm, I start chowing down. Mm, this is really good. Well, gotta be good for something. Runs through my church's nails. Really? Oh yeah. Well, they were not as... <laughs> it was mostly a steel or something, but no one could be. Mm. We'll see Vinny soon. This is better than what I usually make. You cook? I'm a ranger. I'm a ranger. I'm usually on foot a lot. Well, this is better than I, than I can uh, ever taste it. Even the vegetables. From home, I don't really eat a whole lot of vegetables, but they're always... Got that earthy taste. Well, like I said, I make do with what I can grow up back here. It's better than nothing. Well, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. You're welcome. Everyone roll a perception check. Nineteen. Six. Sixteen. All right, Anfield Hunter. Hmm. You notice she's dressed completely different from how she was before. Um. Yeah, excuse me, Miss. And later. you do notice an additional item she has on. Hmm. A beautiful. Blue amulet. Uh, excuse me, Ms. Bow. When were the clothes you were wearing before? Oh, I put them in my room to be washed. Okay. 
Can I roll an investigation on her? Go for it. Okay, making sure I have my investigation. Dang it, nine. What was it you were trying to do? I was trying to. I was trying to see with my perception being such crap to see if I no if I noticed anything about her that was different. No. Don't flat. <sighs> no, you're too engrossed in the food. Of course I that's am. A, that's a pretty blue necklace you have there, miss. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Upon you mentioning it, she seems to get. She seems to become sad. Um, we're all inside. I want to roll a history because I seem to. Sorry, think no. <laughs> I think I've seen it before. History is. Dang, Flabbit, this rolls, I swear! Honestly, Mystery, no, you wouldn't have seen it before you anyway. Darn, Flabbit, I thought I did. I thought. I know what you were trying to. I know what you were thinking of, and it's not that. Well, darn it. But she did roll a net one, so... Again, too engrossed in her food. <laughs> it's like all she can actually see is the food and nothing else. And at this point, she's trying to reach for your guys'. Uh, 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 back off. This is mine. Back off. But I haven't eaten in two days. Hey, hey, hey. This is my meal. You want an arrow through the eyes? You back you off. You want more? All you have to do is ask. Oh, you do a bowl? Of course, I made enough for seven people. Okay, more please. He takes your dirty plate, comes back with a fresh one. Thank you. Start. Miss, if I might ask, why aren't you eating with us? Oh, I've already eaten. Well, Siegfried's done with his meal, and he just looks at her. And like, um, so I've learned to, not, I've learned to barely eat anything since. Well, you know. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. What was that? Um, is there any work that needs to be done? Just like I said earlier, just help with the farming and the hunting. Let me go and check on the farm. <clears throat> she just points you to the back door. Thank you. Thank you. You step out the back door and notice... Three little feet, three little patches of field. Hmm. One for grain, one for potatoes, and one for vegetables. And I, I know he's just signs like great, <laughs> like the same thing my church does. Well, you got to remember one thing, Enfield. This is one woman. I Having know, but it, it just, no. it's bringing back some memories to him. Anyone else? Uh, I'm just nomming down food at this point like I'm hypnotized. Mystery roll your constitution one. check. Oh, thank you for the meal, man. Nine. <laughs> I told you I might be hypnotized. I'm so 
something. Mystery! You start choking on your food, you've been huffing it down that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't tell if that was real or fake. <laughs> Because that honestly sounded like you were literally choking. Jeez. My bad. I'm alright. Continue, Z. Hunter, you're, you're, the person you're with is choking. What are you going to do? Just sit there and watch her? <laughs> I'm going to do the Heimlich. Is that a strength? Yep. Uh. This ought to be good. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you knock it loose and it goes down the rest of her throat. <coughs> Thanks. Hey. You're welcome. Lynn Falney just kind of looks at you and goes, are you sure you don't want something to drink? Uh, just a small glass of wine, thank you. Nods and brings you a glass of wine. Thank you. So, is there anything you want hunted, or do I just go into the forest and hunt any damn thing I find? Well... Normally, I'd say just whatever you can find, but we have enough meat for a couple more days. Okay. And I have no way to store it. Uh... Other than salting what we have. Oh. I can help with the salting, too. Well, I've already taken care of that. Um, I could freeze it with, for you with my breath. I don't know if that would do any good. Uh, true. We have no room to store it in that would stay cold enough. So, why is the sky red? That's how it is here. Has it always been like that? Yes. Mm. How do I Dang. check and see if she's lying? Uh, I would believe that would be... Insight. Insight, sorry. Insight, okay. Which is your wisdom? Okay, it's... Okay, it's insight plus wisdom? It's just no, it's wisdom. just your insight. Okay, double checking. Okay. Yeah! yeah! No, mystery. You flat out know she's telling the truth. Darn it! What Darn reason it. would this woman have to lie? Got, he's got you on that one. Hmm. And you can just hear Siegfried coming out from the back or in the little garden in the farm area. He's like, Leave her alone. Well, are you full, Siegfried? You look a little he's, sad. He's... Hmm? You look a little sad. Behind the mask, I mean. Uh, that's just... <laughs> uh, it's like my church's farm. Oh. So, did something happen at your church that make you this sad? Let's just say you really don't want to know. 
Mm. I understand. I'm just going to roll strength because I know he's going to be um, getting some plants. Well, ones that are good to get pulled out of the ground right now. You know, here's the funny thing. Hmm? I am looking at what you guys have asked so far that I have already written down. Yeah. There are still one, two, three four, five things you have not asked about. Um, miss, may I ask you of something? What is it? Um, earlier I saw a painting out right across from my room. Do you know who that lovely lady is? Oh, that's Queen Senes. Really? Uh, I'm sorry, but who? I'm sorry. Not to interrupt. Queen Senes. She's the one that helped found this town. And how long has this town been run, basically, since its foundation? Longer than any of us have been here. You have no record? I'm sure there's probably one in the mayoral house. And where would that be? The mayor's house? Yeah. I'm gonna remark the bookstore for you, Enfield. The cavern. The inn. And the mayor's house. The mayor's house is that big house just across the plaza from us. May I ask when the mayor vanished? Hmm. About two months after the castle went silent. Hmm. So basically, you've had no leader since then. Well, we have some... They kind of forced it on me. So you now you're the leader. You. Say it again, Enfield. Who forced you into that position? The whole town. But why? Because I'm the one who kept everyone together since the mayor vanished. The mayor house for having records of the incident and that'll be our first stepping stone. Hmm. I say let's investigate the mayor's house. Sure. Well, it's worth a shot. By the way, I hope you guys are keeping track of this stuff as well. Somewhat. <laughs> okay. So you guys are going to go check the mayor's house? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He just yep. shrugs a bit and nods. No, it's not like I have anywhere to go. Um, is it locked? Doesn't matter. So if it's locked, we break the door open. If it's unlocked, we just walk through. Pretty much. Only reason she gave you that key, Enfield. Is without that key, all the books would have burned. Ah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, right. I'm here, miss. Here's the key back to the bookstore. Keep it. You sure? What use do I have for it? Fair enough. Quick question, ma'am. Yes? When the castle went silent, did you guys send anyone to check it out? Yes, we sent about 15 people. Have any of them ever come back? No. Yeah. 
Black Dragonborn, the first step is we need to know if the mayor's house has any information to be vile to us. Mm, I agree with that. But getting as much information as we can would also be helpful. And seeing as she's the only person in this town, who else are we going to ask? He has a point. But I say we go investigate the mayor's house and see if we can't gleam anything else. Still, the fifteen people went into that castle to see what's going on and then return. <sighs> it is disheartening and also very worrisome too. Disheartening? Yeah. Would be a, I wouldn't really say that. I'd be more kind of concerned because we don't know what's in that castle. Shall we go to the mayor's house then? Right. <clears throat> you three head to the mayor's house. I want to roll an investigation around the house. Around the outside or inside? Outside. All right. Eleven. Yeah, you can tell this place has been abandoned for a long time. Well, seems like this place has not been kept up on top of that abandoned. Yeah. Hmm. Let's try I'm the door. Try the door. I'm gonna try the door. You gonna try the door? Yep. All right. I'm gonna roll a con to make sure there's no spell on the door that can. It's open. It's it. Oh, never mind. Unlock. It's open. Well, that was easier for us. I don't like this. I don't either. But what choice do we have? I'm gonna use one of my um things. Is I'm gonna use my light spell. to okay. brighten up the area. Okay. Everybody roll a constitution check. Okay. Nine. <clears throat> Nineteen. Fourteen. Enfield! The... M Enfield and Hunter. Yeah. Hunter, <coughs> the moment you open that door, the smell hits you. Oh. It knocks the breath out of you a bit. Oh, oh what the hell? What the hell? What the hell is that? Oh. And Enfield? Mm. The smell hits you so hard you end up vomiting. Oh. Oh. Hard enough. Hard enough. Enfield. Yeah. That you take two points of damage. Ouch. So my eight. Now let me guess, mystery doesn't smell a damn thing. Oh no, the smell hits her because she's unaffected. Are you both all right? It was a DC fifteen. Ah. Oof. I'll be fine. Just. Ugh, it smells like a rotting corpse. I'll be okay. Just give me a moment. Oh, God, that, that's rank. That is rank. <laughs> I want to investigate the smell. 
How do I do that? Just investigate? Roll investigation. And then I want to roll a history <clears throat> check to see if I know that smell. Well, you don't really need to roll the history okay. mystery. If you're going to investigate the smell, you're probably going to know what the smell is. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah, mystery. Quick question. Hmm. How do you plan on investigating where it smells coming from if you're outside still? <laughs> I go that was inside. And... We go inside. Sec. Well, since you two are infected, looks like I might have to go alone. Oh no, it's passed on them now. <sighs> it's just Enfield. Enfield's gonna be a bit queasy for a while. Oof. You know, I, uh, Siegfried's just going to improvise, rip a little bit of his clothing up and make a makeshift little mask. Alright, so, to, to you guys head inside. The entranceway shows that they were home. Huh. That someone was there. But it's been ages. I'm gonna go look for a lantern. There's candelabras all over. Well, I used my white spell, so I could just put it into the lantern and just. Not how the light spell works. Ah. For you to even activate the light spell, it has to be put onto an object. Ah. Uh. Okay. You could always light the, all the candelabras. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll do that instead. All right. You light candles as you go, and you finally find the source of the stench. I think I found it. What the dining it? table. The dining table was set for four. And the food has long since rot. Oh. You can barely tell it was food anymore. Someone get the windows open. I go to smash the window open. <laughs> just pull. Just... You don't know you how. Don't even... You don't know if they're rusted over. You, you, uh, you know what? Roll a strength check for that. Roll a strength check for what? Punching the window open. Because it's, it's rancid. <laughs> and they need a window open. And I don't know if it's... And it's okay. better than checking. Go ahead. Thirteen. <laughs> you smashed the window open, but guess what? 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 Nothing happened. It's still stinky. You take three points of damage. Ah, darn it. The glass. <laughs> if you had said you put something over your hand first, you wouldn't have taken damage. Eh, now I'm down to eight. I love how you people forget the simplest of common sense ideas. <laughs> I was gonna open the windows, like, see if there's a latch or something. This should just go as barbarian mode. <laughs> All right, well, so, I, I think, like, you, you know, it's old. Tiny vent into the house now. I go and nurse my hand a bit. Well, that happened. Yeah, that did. Uh, and Siegfried's just face palming underneath his mask, like, oh my fucking god. What? Uh, let's just try to find some information. Good idea. Alright. Uh, By the looks so we all just follow the investigation? Hmm. 
So what did who, who said what first? I think he did. Uh, I was just gonna ask if we should all just roll an investigation and see what we find. Pretty much. All right. <sighs> Lovely. I'm gonna find. Them. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. <clears throat> Let me uh, take care of something here. Okay. Enfield. Mm -hmm. Your roll, you find the journal for the mayor's wife. Hmm. Mystery! Okay. You find a hardback book with no, co with no uh, cover. Hmm. That's old. Hunter! Yeah. Yeah. You find a bunch of scrolls dating about complaints from the town. Huh. Interesting. All the scrolls you find, Hunter. Yeah. yeah. Two months after the town mentions that the queen missed an event, they stopped. There are no more. Hmm. Strange. What did you find? Did you find something? Yeah. I, I found a lot of scrolls of complaints from the town. But apparently, after a complaint of the queen missing an event, the complaints stopped. What event? Mm. Should I roll an investigation for that? Nope. The event that she missed is the biggest event of the town. The hmm. Festival of the Harvest Hunt. It says here the Festival of the Harvest Hunt. What harvest is that? I wonder if the, if the innkeep knows anything about the Harvest Hunt. We need to keep searching. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Enfield. Hmm. The journal you found continues on for about three months after the mayor's vanishing. I hold on. Never mind. This journal fell. Before ending abruptly as well. Mid sentence. The hell. What is it? And what did you find? Well, this journal... It's like the person was writing all the things. They stopped. They stopped? This is three months after the mayor vanished. Hmm. I wonder what this book was that I found. Do you dare open it? Yeah, I dare open it. <laughs> I'm gonna roll an arcana check. <laughs> Five. No. You don't know Jack and shit. Yeah. So, Mystery, you open the book. What page are you opening it to? Um, I'd say, like, the middle. And the book reads as such. She gasped in delight as she was pinned against the wall, feeling oh. his strength lifting her from the ground. I, I, I start to blush and I go, um... 
I try to close it. Um, I don't, I don't think this is going to be necessary. Yeah, you uh... found an erotic novel. You planned that, didn't you? Huh? Um. Your blush, I... um I just want to say, shoot, did you plan that? Yep. <laughs> I'm going to call bullshit on that. No, I didn't. Here's the thing, Hunter. I rolled for each one of your uh, investigations. Ah. 90 and above was going to find the the uh, diary. All right. 50 and below was going to find the scroll. And in the between was going to find what Angel, what, what you found. No, in between were different books. Mystery rolled on a 69. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that I get the bad ones? <laughs> uh. Okay. And mystery, upon reading that one line from the book, you are compelled to keep the book. Oh, man. You need reading material for the nighttime anyway. Not that kind of reading material. I'm just gonna... Just, but then the second... Uh, be like, well... I, I guess someone enjoyed those kind hey, of... Sickly. Does it say... In that book, when the mayor disappeared, like how long ago that was. Uh, if I remember this, John... <clears throat> or I think it's a diary. Looks like the first page talks about. It says it's three months after. The mayor went. No, missing. that is the last entry. Well, as oh, she says, maybe it's been gone for What's the date? Months, the first... Give me a bit. I'm trying to get, off. get to the first page. The very first entry has the year on it. Huh. As yeah. does the last. Huh. The diary starts at year 1282. 1282? That doesn't sound... Oh. The last one is 1306. Hmm. Plus, like, the first page is the beginning. We might as well tell us about the end with us. I agree. I'll bring the scrolls along as well. Do we want to try to explore the upstairs? No. Yeah. Might be something useful up there as well. It's worth a shot. <clears throat> Alright. So, who wants to walk? Oh, let me go first. And I have a small investigation. You notice there's three bedrooms upstairs. All of them are dusty. Covered in cobwebs, showing the place has been abandoned. Child's doll sits on the floor, just covered in dust. That looks safe. All right, I'm gonna come up and help then. I'll come and help too.
Okay. I'm gonna roll an investigation to see if I spot anything. Twenty. Twenty. Crud. Crud. All right. Anyone else? I'll roll again oh, for yeah. investigation. Same here. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Seventeen. All right. You all come to the top of the stairs that you near what you assume to be the uh, mayor's room, mayor and his wife's room. You see a large painting on the wall. It seems to be a painting of this harvest hunt. With what looks like an older man standing there next to a raven haired woman with arcane blue streaks in her hair. Hmm. As they're standing over the carcass of a giant bear. Oh. oh. Looks like they were avid hunters. <laughs> hmm. Hunter? Yeah. Only a perception check. I don't know this shit. Hey, no. Mystery, by the way. Hmm. <clears throat> Looking at this woman in the picture, you realize who it is. Oh. I'm trying to remember, though. In her portrait already. Oh, I remember her. <laughs> This is supposed to be their queen? So is the mayor with the queen? Mm, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, I think it looks like it. I don't know if it is or didn't, not. Didn't the, it, the girl from earlier say that the queen had a blood red jewel on her chest? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see a blood red jewel on that painting. I remember seeing... Here's the thing, Hunter. You don't. Exactly. Mystery does. It is faintly hidden. Underneath the blouse. I'm looking up here and it looks like she's hiding her amulet. Do you think Here's that... the thing, mystery. Hmm. What? Roll me a history check. Roll me a knowledge check. A wisdom check. Essentially. Okay, so basically just a wisdom check. No more wisdom. Yeah, roll me three wisdom check. Nine. No, never mind. Yeah, I I'm, wish. I'm gonna try roll a wisdom. Anfield, you haven't seen the painting. All right. Never mind. Then. I want to. Really concentrate. Bet I'm getting nothing. Well, if you want to try again with a concentration, you can add a plus two. Okay. Wisdom plus 
four plus two. So basically a plus six. Yep. Fifteen. It suddenly dawns on you. Oh. Amulets have chains. Her what? jewel didn't have a chain. Wait. The jewel up there. It doesn't have a chain. Now you mention it, yeah. <sighs> well, here's the thing. Only Mystery knows it because only Mystery has seen the actual painting. You two haven't seen the actual painting of the Queen yet. Yeah, but this is like the only painting he's seen so far. And I'm just looking at the, at the picture of dumbstruck. Hunter? Yeah. Owe me a constitution check. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, actually, that worked. Really? Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. As you are staring at this picture, a sudden, dark chill fills you, as if you are staring straight at a powerful elder dragon. Okay, so let's see back at the end. It disturbs you enough. You cannot move. Damn it. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, okay over there? Uh, uh, speak. You feel as if this dragon is literally breathing down. Uh, Nick, Kyoto, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm gonna roll on the top. I never mind that. <laughs> what was that? Then I said, and then it fades. Feel normal again. Okay, what the fuck was that? Dude, it was like you've seen death itself. Did you. It almost felt like that with the way the, what, what I was feeling. Did you feel like an overwhelming sadness all of a sudden? No, more like an overwhelming, over, overwhelming fear of I'm about to die. I was about to die in that instant alone. Hmm. By the looks of it, we haven't seen anything else. I think we need to get out to the yard. I don't like this. I agree. I think we're over a Let's go back to the inn and ask her about this harvest festival. Yeah. Is that what y'all are gonna do? Yep. Yeah. I have a question. Does um, Savory still have a headache? No. Okay. You haven't had a headache since you left the bookstore. So, you all head back to the inn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's outside trying to clean up the messes. Um, excuse me, miss. Yes? Yeah? Well, we just came back from the mayor's house, and we'd like to ask you something. Oh, sure. Come and get inside, then. 
It'll be night time soon. Uh, are they posting around night? No, but it does get rather cold. Mm. Uh, fair enough. I'll head inside. She sits at the table with you. Uh. So, what can you tell us about this harvest hunt? Oh! It's the one time of the year where, well, it's when harvest time comes around and not only do we harvest the crops, the queen comes and joins us on the hunt. Uh, hunt for what? I'm thinking it could be anything. She just gives you this deadpan look. Really? Humor me. Forgive the dragonborn. I don't know. It's sitting in your stomach right now, isn't it? Awesome. By the way, Siegfried, I have a name. Well, uh, our friend here did find a, some kind of scroll in the mayor's yes. house, and apparently it all started when the queen didn't show up for this festival. Could you explain? Yes. Is that, yeah. Is that when everything went quiet? That's when we knew something was wrong, I guess. So nothing had seemed out of the ordinary beforehand? Not at all. Honestly, the queen was the glue that held this entire town together. She helped with the harvest. She helped with the planting. Any of the festivals, holidays. So when it came time for this big annual thing, that's when you would notice she had never been around. She just vanished, yes. We figured she'd been sick or something because, well, we hadn't heard word from her at all from the castle. Normally she sent down one of a one of a maid servant to order some drink, some wine from that from the inn here, but it had been about a week that she'd stopped doing that. When she never showed up for the hunt, we knew something was wrong. Well, the painting we found in the mayor's place seems like she had a servant or someone next to her. Oh, no, that's the mayor. Huh. That was the mayor. That was literally the last time we had the hunt. This would be a little bit weird of a curveball, but... It was... Has there been someone that came from the castle from time to time? Other than the queen herself. Yeah. Other than the queen? Well, there's her two usual servants. And occasionally some of the maids, but that was about it. The servants. What do they look like? One was an Arakoa. I'm sorry, what? An Arakoa. I... I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm surprised a bird folk would be in this realm. And the other was a dragonborn. Huh. Were there... any visitors outside from the outside world for a time before this harvest? Technically, all of us are outside 
Y'all just magically showed up here one day? This city is a home for those who are lost. They've lost everything. It's uh, a place for us to start all over. New families, new beginnings. <laughs> Queen Senes made sure everyone here was happy. After she vanished, the town kind of fell apart. Huh. Except for you. <clears throat> Even I kind of did. So Sigrid's just kind of like just features like the Arcoa is was he did he come around a lot? Mm. Most of the time he came around, it was for herbs and alchemical ingredients. What about the uh, Dragonborn? The Dragonborn? Mostly to trade wares with the blacksmith. So pretty much one trying to make potions? The other trying to stock up on weapons? Was there any problem with merchants or anything like that. What? Merchants. Uh, merchants. People to trade. No, they never had any problems with the merchants here. Hmm. What about... Well, except for the blacksmith. The blacksmith? You know, he, always got pissed, he always got pissed off at the dragonborn saying he was undercutting himself. Why would you say that? Where do you think the blacksmith got his materials from? Huh. It's still an orc or trying to become... <sighs> Sorry, it, it sounds kind of stupid, the way I'm thinking. Were the servants always still around before the harvest, or when did they stop coming? They... The last time we saw the servant was... She sits there thinking a bit. The last time the servants came around was the last wedding. The last wedding. Wedding? Yes. The wedding of huh. who? Me and my other half. Huh. Oh. <clears throat> and how long ago was that? About... Ten years. Well, I found this diary in the mayor's <clears throat> place. Will this help? I doubt it. Don't pry into the business of others. Hmm. You said the wedding took place ten years ago, right? Yes. Is that when... Everyone started to disappear? It wasn't long after that. Hmm. After the council went silent, who was the first to disappear? The mayor. Hmm. So at least we have a... At least we have a time link for how long it's been since the disappearance. But the fact that the mayor disappeared right, out, right after the castle went silent, <clears throat> that's not a good sign. Well, not entirely. Mm -hmm. she, she's correcting herself on that. The first ones to disappear after the castle went silent were the ones we sent Check the 
So they never came back to report? No, they didn't. Did something look abnormal with the castle? We don't know. Did civilians become afraid once all the disappearances started? Yes, we started to be afraid, but... Figured Queen would help us, but no one knew where she was. One by one, we started to vanish. Were there ever any traces? No. Hmm. Just on the next day. Did anyone see anybody disappear? Or were they just... Somehow no one saw it and they just poofed and never came back. She just gives you this... She just gets this really depressed look. Rumelia vanished right next to the bed. Do you notice anything strange about the vanishing? No, she just was gone when I woke up. No trace. Closed my eyes, holding her hand as we did every night. When I woke in the morning, I was alone in the bed. No clothes, no nothing. All the first stuff was right where it was left. Sorry for bringing that up. <clears throat> Do you think it's possible that some of the servants could be still alive? I don't know. I don't know if anyone is there. The only answer is that we ever gonna get is in that castle. That's yeah. the only thing I can think of now. Is it that we're missing though? Before we even head in. Hmm. If some, if we're missing something, we're probably gonna find it at the castle. That seems to be our safest bet at this point. And if at least we can find one of the servants, then we can actually see if they might know. Yeah. But if the servants hadn't been coming out for about ten years, what's to say they didn't disappear either? This is true. But well, who's to say they actually did? No one's seen the servants in ten years, and... Well, I no, it actually, did. there was been no update as to if anyone's disappeared from the castle or not. He does have a point. <clears throat> Even, and we could be short on time, too. Who knows? She might be gone, too, before we know it. I say we rest up for the night and try to go out for the castle in the morning. And we make sure yeah. that rogue is awake. And if he's not, I'll just drag him along with us. Or just leave him here. Mm. No. Something tells me I don't think we should. I don't think we should either. We'll walk around with someone that could be in deep sleep and could be a hazard. Because we don't know what we could run into that. Ca we could be fight. Could be fighting that castle. We don't know. Which is why this. Which is why Catherine here will be carrying the rogue. Because she's a sorcerer and can cast spells from a distance, leaving me and you, leaving me and you to take care of everything else. Uh, 
it's worth a shot, but... If we go in the castle, we need to find a way back out if things go south. Well, we'll have to tackle that when we get there. Well, if it's decided, then I'll see you both in the morning. Likewise. Good night. Good night. Thank you again, ma'am. She just kind of nods and sits there. Siegfried's just going to go out the door a bit just to look at the sky again. Sky is the same crimson color. <sighs> Feels like I'm in a dream. It feels like this dream's been turned up upside down. Before he heads upstairs, he puts his hand on the woman's shoulder and just looks and tells her, if we find a way to bring her back, we will try. Roll me a perception check. <clears throat> All right. Fifteen. I don't know if I want to give this one to you or not. Because this one would give you a big hint as to what's going on. Hunter, you and Mystery are gone from the room, right? Uh, yeah. I believe so, yes. Enfield? Hmm. This information is just for you. All right. You can share it with the others if you wish later. You notice that the clouds have parted and the moon is shining for now. What the? A giant moon. And as the light hits, Lynn Falne, you see that she starts to look transparent. What the hell? Before the cloud covers the moon's, before the cloud cover locks the moon again. As if it was just an illusion. You aren't sure if what you just saw was real or not. He's kind of stumbling back a bit, but he's also kind of like his mind's kind of overloaded with what he just saw. Question is, do you share it with the others or not? Uh. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. <sighs> he kind of heads upstairs and kind of shaking now. He's kind of like just trying to keep himself breathing calmly. It's like, Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Are you going up to tell the others? Are you going to hide his room? <clears throat> He's going to hide his room. <laughs> I but... start to hear panting. Roll perception. You and Hunter. Oh, okay. Nineteen. Crap. 
<laughs> we do that. There you go, 16. Yeah, you both hear panted, panting, panicked breathing. I open up my door and I I see Sigfried. Sigfried, are you okay? No, you see him going up the stairs. I start to try and uh, run up to him. What, that takes, what, three steps? Yep. <laughs> With how strong you are? Well, that is if he can hear me throughout his panting. I'll have to roll perception for that, then. No, you don't. Oh, I can actually hear her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can I'm hear not her. Sneaking. <laughs> he yeah. ain't sneaking. He's kind of, like, booking, and he's like, fuck, 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 fuck. I go up to him, Siegfried! I, I, I can't talk right now. I'm just... Just leave me alone. Hey, hold on. It's not good if you do this alone. Something is clearly wrong. You can't hold it in like that. If you do, it's kind of damaging. So come on, let's at least get you to sit down. You, you wouldn't believe what I just saw. Try me. I... Sorry about that. It's okay. It's fine. My phone went off. Oof. What I miss? Mystery's caught up to Enfield and, uh... He's in a panic. Ah. Uh. And it's right outside your room. I open my door and find out what's going on. Look, I'm trying to tell you, you won't believe in what I what I saw. And you won't know that until you say it. What she said. You know, you could always just go to a private room and talk. Here. Since his... Since our friend's room here is open, we might as well head in there for a bit. Yeah, come on in. Fine. You feel a little better? Not really. All right. Tell us what's wrong. I... Promise me you two keep an open mind about this, all right? All right. Of course. I was coming back inside after I looked at the clouds and somehow something clouds like like somehow it was. I don't know, like, the clouds just moved to reveal a, a moon, and the moonlight just shined in, and next thing I know, the innkeeper just vanished. Just vanished? Like, no, just, she didn't vanish. She turned transparent. It, it's like... I guess, like, like, she was see-through. See through, you say? Uh, I don't know. My brain's kind of just trying to handle this, and hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe there's more to this situation than we thought. If she did uh... go transparent, <clears throat> could mean something else. 
and it could mean how the people disappeared. But in order to find that, we're gonna have to go directly to the castle. But that can wait in the morrow. Sigrid, you look like you really could use some rest. I am waiting to see if anything fun. Huh? I just gave you the most blatant hint you could ever get in. Like, all I know is the moon has me linked to something. It might be linked to the disappearances around here. Possibly, but I do have some proof. Nope! I get it. Okay. I would s uh, Maybe there's something up with the townspeople that we don't know. Maybe they I mean, didn't I can't detect any magic. I mean, I don't know if my magic's in balance or not. This is another realm. So I don't know how magic works in this realm. I agree with you on that. But. I'm thinking. Maybe the townspeople were never here. If she was transparent when the moon came up, maybe it's something that we're unaware of. Maybe the townspeople never left. Nor did they disappear. You... I mean, I don't know if there's a way to reverse it. I mean... It, like, happened so fast, like... My... I didn't have time to process it. Okay, Enfield. Hmm? What happened was, because I obviously didn't explain it well enough, when the moon, when the moonlight hit her, turned transparent. When the moonlight faded, she was back to normal. Ah. That was your hint as to what's going on. I wanted to clear that up so you guys didn't get any more confusion out of this. Okay. I mean, you guys going to check downstairs. I'll check. I go downstairs. And I go and check. Sitting at the table crying. I go up to her. Hey, are, are you okay? Still thinking of your significant other, huh? If it went for her, just it wouldn't be bearable. Look, maybe we can find her somehow. But I'm sure she wouldn't want to see you this upset. As she looks up at you, Mystery, moonlight breaks through the clouds once again. What Enfield saw, you see now. Uh. 
before returning back to normal. I try my best to hide my facial expression and just try and smile. Well, it's getting late. We should be you here. All should you all should rest. You all should rest. Good night, my dear. Just well in the morning. I go up by. I look at Siegfried. You're right. Something isn't right with the people. Because I just saw it too. Exactly what did you see? Is it that they're not here? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Something else occurred. Because whatever it is, the moon is connected. And so is the castle. Well, what did you see? Did you see the same thing he saw? Or... Yes. So, the moonlight shone into the building and turned transparent. Yes. As if she were almost a ghost. But uh, but even I couldn't sense any arcane. <coughs> Intriguing. <coughs> Think about what she how she described the town. She did say that there was what go ahead. From what she described in the town, she did say this is a place for people to begin anew. As if they've already had a life of their own somewhere else and then ended up here. So, and they only wandered here. Yeah. And apparently, this town's been here long before anyone has actually lived in it. That doesn't add up. Hmm. Nothing that she has said has added up about the town. And what we have, we have seen, especially with what we got from the mares, something about this queen should be a clue, but when a queen disappears, everyone starts to? That doesn't sound right. Mister, let me ask you a big question. I'm and trying I to say, think. <laughs> no, I, I, know, I know that. I know that. I know that. But this question I'm about to ask you. Okay. You are going to have to make a knowledge check on. Okay. Okay. Do you remember when you asked her about a temple? Yeah. Yeah. What was her reaction? She said there was none. Wait. I'll do a knowledge check. Oh, you're supposed to. The GM, the GM just says you have to do a knowledge check. Yep. Okay, I, want to see, I want to see if you can piece it together. And that's under history, right? No, it's just a straight intelligence check. Ah. I'm hoping this is works. Oh, 22! Yes! We yes! Don't need a 20. You notice, you slowly start to piece together in your mind. She seemed ghostly. This is a place for new beginning, and there's no temple. Which means no religious worship. Every town that I've heard of since from my parents 
Each single Each town, single town always, had a, always had a religion of some sort. A temple. Yeah. But this place yeah. doesn't. Yeah. And it's a new beginning. Could we have fallen under a, t a ghost town? Or something different? Or literally, well, actually, think of it. Maybe we have actually been to the spirit realm. The spirit realm? Think about it. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. I'm and back. Field? Hmm? Mystery went down and did what you did. Talk with her. Yeah. yeah. She saw the same thing you did. Uh. And Mystery has pieced together certain clues now. Alright. Alright. Here to tell him what clues you've pieced together. Yeah. Do you remember when I asked the in the innkeep about temples and she declined saying no? You don't think. I do think. Because there is no way out of all the knowledge that my parents have told me about their adventures, every town they went to always had a religion, but this place doesn't. On top of that, she said people just showed up here. This place is of the new beginnings. And, and she was now he's got a chill down his spine, and he's laughing like... <laughs> please don't joke, please, please, please don't be serious. I am. She's completely serious, and, I think, and I'm serious when I say this. I think this is a spirit realm, a place for ghosts and souls to have a new life. But what does that mean? We would have to be dead. Not necessarily. I I want to ask you a question. Hmm. When you saw, when you two were also exposed to moonlight, did you go to the No. No. Zachary? No. That leads me to believe we were brought here physically, not spiritually. Meaning we're still alive. Who's echoing now? Not you. me. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead, Andrew. If this is the spirit realm, then who brought us here? This C person, remember? This C person. Whoever sent us the envelope, technically. Which mean? Which means I think the only way we're going to find out anything else is if we go to that castle. And speak with the queen. Because something oh, tells me. Sure, the queen even there? Where else could she have gone? No one has seen her for ten years. No one had seen her come out at all much. Except for once a year for hunting. No. No, that's not right. she. No. She right. constantly came to the town. Yes. But why is it that a queen... She cared for these people. Hmm. What's a fate worse than death? Purgatory. Yeah. Limbo. Neither. Being forgotten. Oh. Right. Oh shit! It's literally the day of the death. Then all your plans. God damn it. You gotta. Re A hunter again, out of game knowledge. Think of who Zyra is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Think of how she acts towards people. She's a tease, yes, but she's also motherly. Yeah. What's one thing a mother would never do? 
Forget, forget her, her child. children. So if Zyra's gone, what's going on? Somewhere. Uh, no. Everyone here is being forgotten. This realm is literally for the souls that the church turned away. Those who refused religion. Those who were persecuted for refusing religion. Those who broke traditional norms. Kin. Lynn. She married another woman. Oh, the taboos. Do you think this could be a whole town full of taboos? But wait. The mental mystery, we can't use that knowledge right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, now we can return back to being in character. <laughs> But so, what's our plan of action, uh, Catherine? Right? Yes, Trinity, that's you. We definitely need to go storm that castle. And we definitely need to find out what I think. Uh... If, what are you thinking, Siegfried? I don't know. That's not a pass. It might help me figure out something. Because I don't know. My church, we kind of. <sighs> Basically, my church, we try to put souls to rest. What do you mean by souls to rest? You mean I'm trying to think. <sighs> well, let's think on it for the night. But yeah. we definitely need our sleep. We definitely need some sleep for when we wake up. Oh. Yep. Well, good night, boys. Yeah, good night, I'm going to my room. Good night, Siggy. Yeah, yeah, stay with your ass, dragon. To you as well. I go and I fall asleep. Freeze going to try to sleep the best he can. <laughs> and I just clock out of my bed. Um, out of character question, why is it whenever me and Enfield make characters, they never get along? Because that's your <laughs> true personality, period. Yeah. <laughs> um, Enfield, mm -hmm. as you get into your room, roll me a perception check. Seventeen. You step in your room and instantly you're frozen. What? 
You look over in the corner and you see those same green begging eyes. But they seem different than they did before. Seem bigger. As well as the figure they were on, shorter. What the hell is going on? Before the shadow vanishes, you're free to move again. Okay, that is getting weird. Mystery, roll me a perception. Or no, roll me a constitution. Okay. Same for you, Hunter. Uh. 20. Fourteen. Mystery, you've walked by the painting. You still feel that weight, that sadness, not as strong as it was earlier. Hunter, you yeah. still feel as if that dragon is breathing down your neck. But it doesn't seem to paralyze you as much as it did in Mayor. Tomorrow's gonna be an interesting day. And that is where we end for the night. <laughs> <laughs>